गुड मॉर्निंग लेट स्टार्ट द डेली डिस्कशन द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग द प्लेसेस ऑफ ओरशिप स्पेशल प्रोविजन एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन वाइन न्यू द प्लेसेस ऑफ ओरशिप स्पेशल प्रोविजन एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन हज बिन इन न्यूज बिकॉज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज कंसिडरिंग इट्स वैलिडिटी द एक्ट प्रोविड चेंजेस टू द रिलीजियस कैरेक्टर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दैट एग्जिस्ट बिफोर नाइनटीन When the Babri Masjid Ram Jan Mohmi dispute gained momentum, the Vishwa Hindu Parishad and other Hindu organization took up the case of two other mosques, the Gyan Babri Mosque in Varanasi and the Sai Diga in Mathura. In September 1991, the P. B. Narsimha Rao government, the Congress government led by P. B. Narsimha Rao, enacted a special law to treat the status of the places of worship as they were on August 15, 19. Forty-seven. So, independence of India. What the status was maintained? The religious uh, places status, as it was on the day of independence, was to be maintained as per the Religious Sites Act passed by the P. B. Narsimha Rao government. Okay, in nineteen ninety-one. Okay. It law to treat the status of the places of worship at the year 15 August 1947. The law kept the disputed structure of Ayodhya out of its purview because So uh, the law kept the disputed structure of the Jaya out of its purview as it was then an ongoing litigation. Litigation of the Jaya had already started, so it was kept out of the purview of the 1991 Act passed by the Parliament during the Prime Minister of Pibin Narsimha Rao. It is described as an act to prohibit conversion of any place of worship and to provide for the maintenance of the religious character of any place of worship. The Act declares that the religious character of the place of worship shall continue to be the same as it was on 15th August 1947. It says that no person shall convert any place of worship of any religious denomination into okay. So, uh, so it said that no person shall convert any place of worship or any religious denomination into one of a different denomination or section. The disputed site at Ajodhya was exempted from the Act due to its exemption. The trial in the Ajodhya case proceeded even after the enforcement of the law. Any place of worship which is an ancient and historical monument or an archaeological site covered by the ancient monument archaeological sites and remains Act of 1958. A suit that has been finally settled or disposed of, any dispute that has been settled by the parties or conversion of any place that took place by acquiescence before the act commenced, criticism, the uh, the law has been challenged on the ground that it bars judicial review, which is a basic structure of the Indian Constitution. It imposes an arbitrary, irrational, retrospective cut off date. The and abridges the right to religion of Hindu, Jaina, Buddhist, and Sikh because so through this the uh, status quo of the religious places were maintained that has been highlighted. But in reality, so there is a dispute over all the places where the issue has been raised. What is the status of the ongoing uh, cases in the Ganapati Mosque? A suit was filed in 2020 in the Baranasi District Court by a group of Hindu women worshippers seeking to assert their right to worship deities. The claim are still found on the premises of the Janabapi Mosque. The plaintiffs say they have a right to worship uh, Mas, Ringar, Gauri, Ganesh, Hanuman, and other visible and invisible deities. 
also pending is another batch of sweet filed in 1991 into declaration that a part of the site of the Ganrapi mosque being uh, belong to Lord uh, Bisheshwar. The main basis for the suit is that the Hindu uh, side says that the old temple of Lord Bisheshwar lies at the center of the Ganrapi compound. So inside the compound there is a temple of the uh, Bisheshwar. The court judgment so far court order favored the position that these suits are not bad by the places of worship act because they continue prior to that. On the district court order, the Archaeological Survey of India has conducted a survey of the premises. The SI report submitted to the Varanasi district court claimed that a temple existed there prior to the construction of the mosque. Subsequently, the court has allowed the conduct of Hindu prayers at a cellar on the premises. Okay. What is the status of the ongoing case in the uh, Mathura Sahidga? The suit in the Mathura uh, pertains to the Sahidga mosque that stands adjacent to the Krishna Janmabhumi temple there. This suit claims that the mosque was built over the uh, birthplace of Lord Krishna. The mosque committee, however, denied the allegation. The dispute was settled through a, a compromise between the Sri Krishna Janmastam, uh, the Janmastana Seva Sanstan and the Sahidga Trust in 1968 and implemented through a decree in 1947. As part of the settlement, the uh, Santam has given up a portion of the land to the Aidya. The current suit challenge this comprises as fraudulent and seek the transfer of the entire parcel of the land to the deity, Sri Krishna. The Allahabad High Court has transferred uh, transfer to itself all suits pertaining to the Mathura dispute. Why did the places of worship special act now cover Ganbapi and the Saidga? In both the disputes, the respective mosque committee sought rejection of the suit on the ground that the Place of Worship Act prohibits such litigation. So, however, court order say, uh, so order so far says the act does not bar these suits and they must go on. The Ganrapi worshippers case, the ruling is that the site aimed to assert the right of worship of the Hindu deities and did not seek to convert the status of the mosque. The Allahabad High Court has taken the view that the act does not define the term religious character. A structure cannot have the dual character of being both Hindu and Muslim and that only an examination of the evidence can determine its religious character. Okay, this only needs a proper uh, definition and proper examination. So, a proper examination can only establish the reality of the religious structure. That cannot be an uh, absolute bar on proceeding to ascertain its religious character it held. Regarding the Mathura dispute, the district court has taken the view that the suit uh, uh, are not bad by the places of worship act as what is under challenge in the Compromise decree based on the 1968 agreement. As the decree was done up before the commencement of the act in 1991, it too is not applicable to the case which it has held. Okay, this is the order of the court. Then the next topic is the topic in economy, the importance of the fiscal consolidation. Union Finance Minister announced during the budget speech that the centre could reduce its fiscal deficit to 5.1% of the GDP. What is GDP? GDP is the gross domestic product. It is the monetary value of all final goods and services produced within the 
geographical boundary of the country okay so uh, uh, and within a particular financial year so uh, the minister the finance minister said that uh, uh, center could reduce fiscal deficit to 51% 5.1% of the gdp in 24 25 he further added that the fiscal deficit could be paid to below 4.5% of the gdp by 25 26 whether the next year it will be further reduced to 4.5%. So this year it will be 5.1%. Next year 5.4%. So that means year after year, so the government has a target to reduce the fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit is the gap between the uh, tax revenue and the expenditure of the government. Fine. That is known as the fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit is the shortfall in the government's revenue when compared to its expenditure. So government has a revenue target and so the gap between the uh, revenue target and the uh, expenditure is known as the fiscal deficit. When a government's expenditure exceeds its revenue, the government will have to borrow money and sell asset to fund the deficit because government uh, must continue to spend and if the revenue collection is less than the expenditure, then in that case government has to borrow. Okay. So, uh, when the government's expenditure exceeds revenue, the government have to borrow money or sell asset to fund the because government cannot stop the expenditure unlike uh, the individual. So, government has to borrow and that increases the fiscal uh, balance of the country. Uh, statistics of 2024-25. So uh, the government's tax receipt are expected to be 26.02 lakh crore while its uh, total revenue is estimated to be uh, 30.8 lakh crore. Okay, that means
Okay. So when government runs a fiscal surplus, the union government had total expenditure. On the other hand, it is estimated to be 27.66 lakh crore. Focus on keeping the fiscal discipline control rather than on generating a fiscal surplus. So government of normally in a country like India, government is unable to generate a surplus. Okay. Because our CJ country where the expenditures are always more than the income. So we are unable to generate any surplus rather we always depend on the deficit. So but the deficit is to be kept under control. That is the objective of the government. Focus on keeping uh, when the government runs fiscal surplus on the other hand its revenue excludes expenditure. It is however uh, quite rare for government to run a surplus in a country like India. When the demands are always more so maintaining a surplus very difficult for the government. Most government today focus on keeping the fiscal deficit under control rather than on generating a fiscal surplus or balancing the budget. This is because the control deficit policy is said to be expansionary. In such policy, the government spends more on budget items such as infrastructure. Such policies are typically used to boost productivity and the economy. Fiscal deficit is not a national debt. The national debt is the total amount of money that the government of the country owns its lenders at a particular point of time. The national debt is usually the amount of debt that a government has accumulated over many years of running fiscal deficit and borrowing to bridge its deficit. Uh, how does the government fund its fiscal deficit? Money from uh, bond market. In order to fund its fiscal deficit, the government mainly borrow money from the bond market. In this market, lenders compete to lend to the government by purchasing bond issued by the government. In 2024-25, the center is expected to borrow a gross amount of 14.13 lakh crore from the market, which is lower than its borrowing goal of 23-24. Okay, that means government borrowed less than. Uh, the goal or the target is set to borrow so that it means government is able to control its deficit and uh, follow the uh, deficit Okay, so uh, uh, it was under the control. The RBI is also a major player in the credit market, although it may not always directly purchase government bonds. The RBI may still purchase government bond in the secondary market from private lenders who have already purchased bonds from the government. So when a government borrow from the bond market, it not only borrow from private lenders but also indirectly from the central bank. Okay. So uh, the RBI purchased these bonds through what they call open market operation or OMO uh, by creating fresh money. This in turn can lead to higher money surplus and also higher prices in the wider economy over time. Uh, challenges in raising the funds through the bonds. Rate of borrowing, government bond are generally considered to be risk free as government can under the worst case scenario get help from the central bank which can create fresh currency to pay up the lenders because in case government borrow from the market and is unable to pay to the uh, okay just wait okay so uh, this is what uh, in case the government is unable to pay it back so it can So, okay. 
okay so rate borrowing government bonds are generally considered to be risk free the government can under the worst case scenario get help from the central bank the rbi which can create fresh currency to pay off the lenders so government generally do not find it hard to borrow money from the market because in case the government is unable to pay government can ask the rbi to print more money uh, which can be paid back to the uh, lenders the bigger problem is that the rate at which they are able to borrow the market from the market at what rate the government's finance worsen demand for government bond uh, begin to drop forcing the government to offer to pay higher interest rate to the lenders and leading to higher borrowing cost for the government in case the uh, uh, government uh, bond uh, carry higher interest rate then the tax that the interest burden on the government will definitely be more which is not good because the pressure uh, goes on increasing So, why does the fiscal uh, deficit matter? Relationship between the fiscal deficit and inflation. There is a strong direct relationship between the government's fiscal deficit and the inflation in the country. When a country's government runs a persistently high fiscal deficit, this can eventually lead to higher inflation, and the government will be forced to use fresh money issued by the central bank to fund its fiscal deficit. So, the fiscal deficit recently reached a high of 9.17 percent of GDP. During the pandemic and also since improved significantly and projected to drop to 5.8 percent now. Indicator of fiscal dis discipline maintained by the government. The fiscal deficit also signals to the market the degree of fiscal discipline maintained by the government. A lower fiscal deficit may thus help improve the rating assigned to Indian government bonds because uh, bonds are given a rating by different international rating agencies. Fine. So. So, uh, when a country's government runs a persistently high fiscal deficit, this can eventually lead to higher inflation and the government will be forced to use fresh money issued by the central bank to fund its fiscal deficit. This fiscal deficit recently reached a high of 9.17% of the GDP, but the government is able to bring it back to 5.8% now. So, the fiscal deficit also signals the market and degree of fiscal indiscipline uh, discipline meant by the government. A lower fiscal deficit may thus help improve the ratings assigned to the government bonds because different rating agencies, the Crystal, uh, ICRA, uh, S&P, Moody, international rating agency, they rate the bonds price. Okay, so government bond price and the rating. When the government is able to fund more of its spending through okay. So, when the government is able to fund more of its spending through tax revenue and borrow less, 
this gives more confidence to lenders and drives uh, down the government's borrowing cost ability of the government to manage its overall public debt a high fiscal deficit can also adversely affect the ability of the government to manage its overall public debt uh, in december the international monetary fund warned that india's public debt could rise to more than 100% of the gdp in the medium term due to the risk uh, although the central government disagreed with the assessment it is also worth So although the central disagreed with the assessment, it is also worth noting that central has been uh, keen to tapping the international bond market. So collect the money from the international market. So a lower fiscal deficit may help the government to more easily sell its bond overseas and access cheaper credit because uh, so the, if the cheap credit is available outside India, so then in that case government will uh, be able to get the fund from abroad and will not depend only on the domestic market to fulfill its requirement. But like that, the center plan to bring uh, uh, down its fiscal deficit in 2425 to 5.1% of the GDP, despite having planned to push capital expenditure and to spend on other programs because this is the election year. So most of the revenue to fund this spending will have to come from tax collection because if the tax collection is uh, good and government is able to generate a huge tax collection, it will not depend upon the borrowing.
so the central uh, expert tax collection to rise by 11.5 percent 24 25 because as you know the projection is that the income tax is increasing so so the huge amount is being collected from the gst that is increasing the confidence for the government that more and more tax will be collected during 24 25 it is also projected to cut expenditure and fertilizer subsidy from 1.88 lakh crore uh, to 1.64 lakh crore in 24 25 the amount spent in food subsidy also projected to drop from 2.21 lakh crore to 2.05 lakh crore in 24 25 from the previous year then the next topic is about the ramsar site recently union environment minister said that five more indian wetland have been added to the global list of wetland of international importance under the ramsar convention ramsar convention was signed in iran it is regarding the wetland protection preservation and its maintenance of the five wetlands added to the Ramsar list, uh, that uh, that Magadi Kerry Conservation Reserve, the uh, Anka Samutra Bad Conservation Reserve, the Agasini Estuary Area in Karnataka, and the uh, Karaibeti Bad Sanctuary, and the Longwood Solar Reserve Forest are in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So, uh, and the Anka Samutra Bad uh, Conservation Reserve, it is a human made village irrigation tank built centuries back. It is an ecological important wetland and rich in biodiversity. It is uh, support more than 1% of the uh, biogeographic population of the vented stroke and the black headed ibids. The uh, Aganasini uh, estuary it is formed at the confluence of the Agastanasini river with the RVN sea. Uh, the brackish water of the estuary provides diverse ecosystem services including flood and erosion risk mitigation. Biodiversity conservation and livelihood support. Okay. The wetland helps in traditional fish farming in the estuary in rice field, locally known as the Ganji rice field, uh, the Bibhavel cell collection, and the salt production. So it helps in all the uh, different uh, areas. The uh, Magadi Kerry Conservation Reserve, uh, it is a human made wetland which was constructed to store uh, rainwater for irrigation purpose. The wetland harbors this wetland harbors two vulnerable species, namely the common post and the river term and the four near threatened species, namely the oriental dark or black headed EP UD neck stroke and the painted stroke. It is also one of the largest uh, wintering ground of the uh, bar head goose. The Karai Betri Bark Sanctuary is one of the largest inland uh, wetland in Tamil Nadu and is a significant source of groundwater recharge for the area because through this huge ground of groundwater is reserved. The uh, Longwood Solar Reserve Forest it derives its name from the Tamil wood Solai, which means a tropical rainforest. The solars are found in the upper reaches of the Nilgiri Anaimali uh, Plani Hills and the Kalakabu. Uh, the uh, Mandutrai and the Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. Fine. Uh, these forested wetlands serve as habitats for the globally endangered black ching nilgiri topping cross and the nilgiri blue robin and the vulnerable nilgiri food pigeons. Okay. So green roofs, according to recent research, green roof treated with uh, microcondial fungi foster a more diverse soil community uh, that is more likely to support long-term green roof sustainability. Green roof, so very new concept uh, presently and much in discussion. So what is this the concept called the green roof? Green roof, also known as the vegetated uh, roof or the living roof, are uh, ballasted roofs consisting of a waterproofing membrane, growing medium, and vegetation plants overlaying a traditional roof. 
The layers of green roof system must, like any roof, accommodate drainage, storm water management, and protect the building from the elements with a waterproof membrane. But they also uh, must create a growing area potentially provide for support, irrigation, and roof protection barriers while staying at light as possible. Two types of green roofs exist intensive and extensive. Intensive uh, green roof and extensive green roof. The intensive green roof are essentially elevated park. They can sustain surf, tree, walkway and branches with their complex structural support, irrigation, drainage and roof protection layers. Okay. Extensive green roof are relatively light. They support Uh, uh, okay, they support heavy native ground cover that require little maintenance. Extensive green roof usually exist only for their environmental benefit and do not function as a accessible rooftop garden. Okay, they don't uh, function as accessible rooftop gardens. Okay, so benefit green roof last longer than conventional roof, reduce energy cost with natural insulation, create peaceful retreat. Uh, for people and animals and observe storm waters potentially leading the need for complex and expensive drainage system. On a wider scale, green roof improve air quality and help reduce the urban heat island effects, a condition in which city and suburban development observe the drop heat. Okay. Key function facts about the fungi. So fungi uh, along with the animal eye animals and plant yeah, plants, Prostista, uh, uh, Archaea uh, and the bacteria or uh, eubacteria from the sixth kingdom of biology. Okay. They are eukaryotic organism, their cell or contain membrane bound organelle and clearly defined nucleates. Uh, reproduction, fungi usually reproduce both sexual and asexual. Fungi either, uh, are either terrestrial, aquatic and later living in the freshwater and the marine environment. They are found in all temperature and tropical uh, regions of the world where there is sufficient moisture to enable them to grow because fungi needs moisture to grow. A few species of fungi live in the Arctic and the Antarctic regions although they are rare and are more often found living in chambasis with algae in the form of lichens. Importance of fungi, they help in breaking down uh, dead organic materials. They continue to cycle nutrients to the ecosystem. Fungi as food play a role in human nutrition in the form of the mushrooms. They also act as agent of fermentation in the production of bread, cheese, alcoholic beverages, numerous other food preparations. Secondary metabolites of fungi are used as medicines such as the antibiotics and the anticoagulants.
then the uh, Martanda Son Temple, members of the little known Hindutva group forced their way into the archaeological site of India's protected Martanda Son Temple recently. The Hindu temple located near the city of Anantanag in the Kashmir Valley of the Jammu and Kashmir, dedicated to sun god Martanda in another Sanskrit synonym of Surya, is built by King Lalitaditya uh, Muktapita uh, around the 8th century CE. Lalitaditya Muktapita was the third ruler of the uh, Karkota dynasty. Uh, it has unique uh, uh, arch architectural wear. It stands in the middle of a large courtyard with 80, 86 uh, 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 fluted columns. Uh, the courtyard is connected to the main shrine where the sun god's idol is installed. The construction of the main shrine was such that during most of the day's time, especially during the sunshine and sunset, the ray could directly fall on the idol. The central shrine of the Vimana stands tall at around 60 feet. It features intricate carving and sculptures that depicts various Hindu gods and goddesses. There are 84 smaller signs around the main sun temple. They are lying along the per perimeter of the complex. The temple is believed to have been demolished by the Sultan Sikandar Shah Mir, who ruled Kashmir from 1389 to 1330. E. Rosita. Recently, the German E. Rosita Consortium has uh, released the data. Okay, so the Erosita extended uh, R O N T Gen survey with an Imagine telescope array is a wide field X ray telescope on board the Russian German spectrum uh, Rentogen Gamma Observatory. It was developed under the leadership of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Germany. Uh, it is a sensitive X ray telescope. Okay. Okay. It was developed under the disk of the Max uh, Planck uh, Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics. It is a sensitive X-ray. The OE Rosita telescope consists of seven identical Walter 1 mirror modules. The SRG watch. Okay. The uh, SRG was successfully launched from the Baikonur on 13th uh, uh, July 2019 and placed in a hello orbit around 12. L2 point. So our uh, uh, that uh, Aditya L1 mission has been to the L1 point, but this is to L2 point. Function it has been performing a all sky survey in which the whole celestial space is mapped once every six months. Eight such all sky that are planned till December 2023. It is also expected to yield a sample of several million active galactic nuclei, providing a unique view of the evolution of supermassive black holes within the emerging cosmic structure. The survey will also provide new insight into a wide range of astrophysical phenomena.
Okay. The server will also provide new insight into wide range of astrophysical phenomena, including the uh, that uh, accreting uh, binary, active star and diffusion uh, emission within the galaxy, as well as solar system bodies that emit X rays via the charge exchange process. One stop center scheme, listen to the Indian Minister of Women and Child Development, said that the one stop center has helped women who have faced violence and have been established in over. 700 districts across the country one step center for especially for the women it has been established in 700 districts all over the country okay it is a centrally sponsored scheme formulated under the indian Ministry of women and child development to provide integrated support and assistance integrated support and assistance uh, to women affected by violence both in private and public spaces under one roof uh, to facilitate immediate emergency and non-emergency access okay uh, to range of uh, services including medical legal psychological counseling support under one group to fight against any form of violence against women this is uh, uh, it's one step center so it will facilitate to check the violence against women The target group will support all women including girls below 18 years. Okay, so uh, 18 years of age up to violence, expect to the caste, class, religion, religion, sexual orientation and marriage status, marital status. Okay, for girls below 18 years of age, institutions and authorities established under the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection Act 2000 and Protection of Children from Sexual Offence Act 2012. Link with the uh, OSC. Okay, the scheme will be funded through the Nirbhaya Fund. The central government will provide 100% financial assistance under the scheme. Uh, administration, the day to day implementation and administration matters would be the responsibility of the district collector or the district magistrate. The uh, one stop center will facilitate access to emergency response and uh, rescue services. Okay, medical assistance, assistance to women in lodging, FR, NCR, DIR, psychosocial support, counseling, legal aid, and counseling, children, video conferencing facilities. So coming to the question and answer, examining the concept of inclusive growth and its relevance in the realm of social uh, economic development. According to the OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation Development, inclusive growth is economic growth 
that distributed fairly across society and creates opportunity for all goes beyond traditional measures of growth take, uh, taking into account social indicators and ensuring that marginalized group actively participate uh, participate in the benefit from the development process okay so uh, principle participation ensure that all people can contribute okay uh, to the benefit for economic activity regardless of their income gender ethnicity disability or location fine uh, reducing inequality in income wealth and opportunity and promoting social mobility and inclusion uh, uh, growth enhancing productivity competitiveness and innovation and created more and better jobs sustainability balancing economic social and environmental objectives and preserving natural resources and ecosystem for future generations Stability, maintaining macroeconomic stability, fiscal responsibility, and the resilience to shock and crisis. Significance of the socio-economic development, poverty reduction, and shared prosperity. Inclusive growth offer a more sustainable and equitable pathway to poverty reduction compared to uh, trickle-down approaches. By creating decent jobs, promoting social mobility, and investing in human development, they allows marginalized group to participate in the economic ladder and enjoy a better standard of living. Social stability and cohesion, addressing inequality and promoting equitable opportunity can decrease social tension, foster a sense of fairness and strengthen social cohesion. This in turn creates a more stable environment for long term sustainable development. Increased productivity and innovation, a skilled and healthy workforce coupled with improved access to education and technology can boost uh, okay, uh, can boost productivity and innovation within the economy. This leads to higher national income and future fuel inclusive growth. Further fuel inclusive growth. Sustainable development it balances economic development and environmental conservation, ensuring that future generation can also thrive. Therefore, it aligns with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, which aim to end poverty, protect the plant, and ensure peace and prosperity for all. That is the objective of sustainable development. Okay, uh, inclusive growth is uh, crucial for sustainable development, offering a balance and the society where progress benefit everyone, uh, promoting equity and prosperity. Okay, that is the focus area of inclusive development then coming to the question I consider the following statement regarding the defamation so defamation is considered uh, a reasonable restrictions under article 19.2 uh, of the freedom of speech and expression okay the Bharatiya Naya Samhita 2023 has added community service uh, as punishment for defamation so both one and two are correct Consider the following statement regarding the National uh, Green Hydrogen Mission. Under it, support to domestic manufacturing of electrolyzer is provided. That's right. Okay. Um, uh, green hydrogen hub is one of its uh, sub component. Both one and two are correct. Consider the following statement all life on Earth is carbon based. Right. Okay. Uh, organic uh, molecules contain carbon atom that are they bound only by hydrogen atoms. Uh, the presence of CH3 plus in space tells us that basic building block of life exists there also. So here only one and two are correct. Uh, so consider the following statement respect to CKS web portal. It is developed by the Center for Development Advanced Computing Research and Development Organization. It will enable provided funds, uh, subscribers and coal companies to perform various functions including online settlement of claims. Here are neither one nor two are because both are correct. So incorrect means both neither are incorrect. Because both are correct. Also the following statement uh, uh, launched in 2008, National Action Plan on Climate Change aims to achieve low carbon and climate resilient development for India, having uh, 10 national mission uh, forming the core of it. Uh, India's national determined contribution plays to reduce the emission intensity of GDP by 45 percent for 2030 and 55 renewable generates. 50% of electricity from non fossil fuel sources by 2030. So, here uh, the uh, statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2 is correct. Fine. D. Uh, then, uh, brain where uh, integrates brain uh, organoids with uh, micro electrodes forming an organoid in a neutral network. 
that directly incorporates living brain tissue into the computing process. Brain organoids are hereditary tissue that stimulate the structure and function of the human brain and are derived from the human embryonic stem cell. So six, both one and two are correct. The reference to the features of the Ayodhya Ram Temple, which is the following statement, are correct. It has been built in the Nagara style, the right, and that Kansi Bahar Fort being sandstone are interchangeably used for this layout. That is not correct. No iron is used in the construction, right? There is total of five mandapa hall in the temple. So here one, three, four are correct. Here two is incorrect. Next to the following, uh, the uh, Akankasa Mudra Bhat, the conservation reserve. Agastya Sindhi Estuary, the uh, Magadi Kori Conserve Reserve, the Langur Sola Reserve, the Karai Betu Bad Sanctuary. How many of these are recently added in the Ramsar site? So all five have been added. Which of the following state, uh, state, uh, staining techniques help differentiate between the gamma poster and the gamma negative bacteria? It is known as the gamma staining. Uh, which of the following e ink display considered the following statement? E ink display are a type of electronic paper display. Technology that mimics the appearance of traditional ink and paper, that is uh, right, uses millions of tiny micro capsules filled with positively charged white particles, negatively charged black particles suspended in the clear coil. So, <coughs> it uses uh, black light and reflex light, the same are happened in the LCD and the LED display. Here, only two are correct, three is incorrect. Thank you for watching, keep watching regularly to update yourself. Thank you.